Hey, what's up guys? Harris here, and this is the OnePlus One. I finally got my hands on it, and I've been testing it out for a little bit, and I've got my ideas on what I like and don't like. So today is the first of this two-part mini-series of things I like and don't like, today with five things I don't like. So starting out with number five, or number one, for things I don't like would be the buttons. Now the buttons, they're nicely placed. Uh, the power button is just above midway on the right side, and the volume buttons are just above midway uh, on the left side. And they're not really hard to find per se, but they're very flush with the device, and they've got the same material, so it's really hard to feel around for the on the phone. And once you get it, it's kind of hard to press because they're so thin, they're so flush, uh, and they're not super tactile. So for me, it's hard to see the buttons, and it's also hard to press the buttons. So I wish they would have made it stick out a little bit more, or even have a different color for them. Now, the next one problem that I had is that it got pretty warm. During gaming or installing a lot of apps, it got pretty warm, and even wrapping around the front, I could feel some of the heat. Now, this was kind of weird. I don't really know why it would wrap around to the front. I've never really had that, but this device did get pretty warm in my case. It may not apply for all OnePlus One users, but for me, the device did get warm. Number three is just that this device is huge. Now, granted, I know it's a five and a half inch display, and for people that love big displays, that's a sacrifice you have to make. But I had an LG G3 just the other day. Uh, I've been using it for a couple months now, and that has the same size screen, but of course, a much more compact device. And I was fine using that, but this just pushes my boundary. This is one of the biggest devices on the market, and this is just a really big phone. It's pretty wide and it's very tall because of the very big bezels on the top and bottom, and even on the side. Now, the next one I have for you would just be the buttons. Now, it's awesome that you can choose between having the buttons on screen or off screen, but personally, I like it off screen so I don't have to waste that screen real estate uh, really for no reason. But my problem with it is just that they're extremely dim. You can see outside, you pretty much cannot see it in any bright circumstance. Even indoors, they can be hard to see at times. You can see they're on right now, and you definitely cannot see it. I could not see it, and that was a bit annoying. Hopefully, this is just a software problem, but I don't know if it's this device's capabilities, its maximum brightness for it, or if it is just software. I hope it's software. Next one I have a problem and the fifth one would be the software itself. Now I love Cyan Engine Mod, uh, that'll actually be one of my reasons, for my top five favorite features of it, uh, I'll do that video later. But a lot of things just doesn't work. My camera does not work at all. Uh, when I do the shortcuts and lock screen doesn't work. My torch or the flashlight doesn't work. And there are just a few bugs in the software still after a couple updates that have not been fixed. Of course these will hopefully be fixed in the future, but kind of this collaboration between OnePlus and Cyanogen Mod, there probably will always be some bugs that if you had stock Android or a skin version of Android that's been kind of used over months and years, they've been all fixed and all the bugs are gone. This will be a device that will probably have continuous bugs for a long time. Hopefully that won't be too big and can be fixed quickly. Overall, I'm really liking the OnePlus One. It's a great device, it's pretty big, but I'm loving Cyanogen Mod, and it's just a really affordable price tag. So I'll be making this opposite video hopefully soon. A lot of times people promise that, but don't get to it. Hopefully, I will get to that. And if you guys did enjoy this video, make sure you give it a like, subscribe, comment your favorite features, and uh, stay tuned for possibly a giveaway of the OnePlus One.